Hi, welcome. I'm Sarah D. I'm going to talk about contentment and I'm going to sing about power. Every one of us has power and the power we have has more to do with the power we believe we have than it does to do with our actual power. Contentment can allow us to access our power in greater amounts than discontent. When we're discontent, we're in a kind of a brain state where everything's wrong. Short story, I posted something on Facebook, a couple of people that I care deeply about who don't know each other got into a grappling word name calling fiasco. And I was shocked because they are both people who have faith similar or the same as mine and who worship the same God I worship and claim grace and Jesus Christ as their Redeemer. And yet they were calling each other foul names because of their differences in, in their beliefs in something I had posted. And it reminded me of one of my songs called Everyone is Prodigal. And I wanted to sing that today and then I changed gears. So I do have a post on Everyone is Prodigal. And I would encourage you to look at that if sometimes you, you find yourself judging other people. Uh, I know I find myself judging other people and that's why I get all these songs is because I, they teach me and I continue to learn from them. And I hope offering them to you is, is beneficial to you as well. Two statements I would like to share about contentment are, I am content to let excuse me, I am content to learn and grow and improve myself from where I am. I'm content to learn and grow and improve myself from where I am. I'm content to take care of me, improve myself and not say, oh, hey, look, you've got mustard on your face. Unless you asked me to let you know when you have mustard on your face, then then I could help you with that. But if you haven't asked for my input, my telling you what you've got going on that's wrong or amiss is not wanted and probably not useful. So I am content to learn and grow and improve myself from where I am. And the second one I would wanted to share is I am content to allow all others to learn and grow and improve from where they are. And it comes back to everyone's prodigal, that song. Everyone messes up. And all of us need input and, and that social mirror to help us to make better choices and to be more civil with each other. I'm not going to name names, but if, if, you, if you're watching this video, you'll know who you are. And the thing is, I do it too. Sometimes I get lost in the, in the emotion and do things that are unbecoming of my beliefs. And that's okay because we can just forgive ourselves and move on. So we'll get past that. But this moment is the moment where our power is. And that's what this song is about. It's called Power Play. And I wrote it some, I don't know, sometime in 1990. And it goes like this. I'll tell you the words. This moment is your power play. What you do will pave the way to live the life you want to have. Hesitate and you will fail to move with faith through the veil of doubt and fear to live your dream. Do your work today. Don't surrender. Do your work. <sighs> then you can rest. Do your work and though mistakes you make, don't give in. Get up and try again. Everyone has work. It's true, difficult and hard to do. All are called to work with what they have. Since the garden's exodus, thorns and thickle, thistles prickle us, sweat of brow and pain, both good and bad. Do your work today. Opposition was the plan. The serpent didn't fool I am. God knew the end before and it was good. Wisdom wasn't Eden's prize until the serpent spewed lies, birthing hunger for greater sight. We can choose to work alone, fight the demons on our own, and exercise futile at best. 
still the choice is ours to make. What we choose will seal our fate, a happy life or sad, for our sake. Do your work today. That's what the song says, and I hope it's useful for you. to learn and grow and improve from where you are. Be content to allow all others to learn and grow and improve from where they are. And when you know to behave with civility, let's do that. We don't have to agree on everything. Yeah, we don't have to agree on everything. But, but we can agree that 
civility is really important and being kind is really important and calling each other names is it's just beneath us. And sometimes the reasons that we do that, that we call people names, is because we're holding on to hurts from the past. And what somebody says triggers one of those hurts. So one last thought I want to leave you with. Today I will let the hurts I have held on to from yesterday fall away in the crisp, cool rain. That will be my focus. When I succeed, the past will be but my growth path, not triggers for reliving old pain stories. When I, we love our habits of belief born of the stories we tell about our past. I'm ready to learn the lessons. I'm ready to release past hurt. I'm ready to be present in each moment without tethers to the past to hold me back. May God bless us all to receive all that he has waiting to, is waiting to bless us with if we will but release our pain on the altar of grace and embrace each new day with new belief. This is our time of power. Choice is where our power lies. After we choose, the outcome is there. The outcome of name calling isn't very not a good outcome. It just causes more turmoil and chaos in the world. And I know you don't want to do that. And neither do I. Even though sometimes we do. So forgive ourselves and new belief each new day with new belief. Forgive ourselves. All that good stuff. I'm Sarah D. Let's make it a great day.